a final nail in the coffin of Alex Belfield and his hounding of Jeremy Vine. Uh, his barrister uh, was um, uh, Alan, Alan Robshaw. Uh, his barrister was um, in court this morning uh, pointing out that his client, Alex Belfield, uh, wished to apologise unreservedly to Jeremy Vine and uh, serious um, damages were paid uh, and court fees were paid by, Vi uh, by Belfield um, and uh, the barrister read out at the end that he, I mean it was very brief, um, but uh, uh, in, in front of um, Justice Steen, um, Alex Belfield expressed his profound and unreserved regret for all the harm that um, he was responsible for causing. Uh, and on behalf of Mr. Belfield, the barrister said that um, he wished to um, and make clear that um, these were false allegations of uh, dishonesty um, for which Belfield was, uh, accepts he is responsible. And uh, you know, it's taken its time to get that uh, firm statement that uh, that, that, uh, that Belfield had um, uh, had lied, had lied and lied and lied, and uh, and had built his career really on, on on deceit and nastiness. And you know, having been on the receiving end of some of that, I think. Um, I think Mr. Vine is is is, is due um, reparations, and um, uh, and and, and I, I I think well I I congratulate him on his patience and um, his perseverance, and um, and and I suppose also at the same time I salute Belfield for finally seeing the light and. Uh, and, and that, in many ways, is heartening. I, I, I believe people can change. I believe people can improve. And, uh, and, and, and that ultimately we are all good. And um, I, I, I wish Alex the very best. Yeah, but I think it's... Um, an apology has to be has to be backed up by some sort of gesture and um, paying substantial damages, paying a substantial sum, I think in this case is entirely appropriate.